that God is bigger than medication. God is bigger than my insecurities. God is bigger than my anxiety. God is bigger than the stress that comes to mind. Samantha and if this is your first time tuning in thank you so much for pressing in this video if this is your second your third your who knows how many times thank you so much for tuning in and supporting I truly appreciate it if you haven't already go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I will upload some very personal content very soon and I don't want you to miss it okay I just want to share what God is doing in my life and hopefully this will touch you as well so at first I did not want to film this video because I thought there was no point but then God reminded me that I prayed for this and God reminded me that there are people who still think that he's a genie in the bottle there are still people that think that he can only do so much and it's because they don't want to tap in to what God can really do in that relationship with him. So last year, actually, I was at a conference called Freedom Conference through the church, Hope City. And on the last day of the conference, actually probably the last hour, the pastor, Jeremy Foster, said that if anyone wanted healing, go ahead and put your hand up. And at the time, I wasn't thinking I needed healing. I did remember that the place that I worked, there was a patient who was saying that she's scared because she has a... Um, I don't know the exact wording, but she said they found something in her lungs that she feels like she might have, or they thought that she might have cancer. And she rebuked it. She was like, can you just pray, pray for me? Um, I don't want to go through this because I'm already going through chemo, or she's going through remission and all of this. And I was like, yeah, for sure. So I put my hand up thinking about her, and I said, God, you know, my Achilles hurts, but I mean, it's not really doing me like somebody that actually has an issue. So I go ahead and put my hand up, somebody prays for me, and I'm just like, yeah, God, you're faithful. Backtrack, actually, um, there was a time that my Achilles started hurting. It was probably a good four or five months, and I actually consulted a physical therapist. I'm like, what do I do? Like, it hurts to even wear heels or be on my tiptoes. And they were saying, you might have to actually go in for a doctor and get everything checked out and all that. Fast forward, a week later, I see the same patient, and she says, guess what? I'm like, what is going on? She said, everything's clear. They didn't find a thing. God is good. And in that moment, I remembered that on Thursday or so, God told me I've already done it. I've already healed her. And I received that word, but to see it manifest in the physical was just mind blowing. Not only that, but about a month or so after I tried to wear heels to go out, my, my foot was fine no problems my ankle was healed achilles was healed and i just know it was god right so this past week you know coronavirus is going on and first of all i just my heart goes out to those who are suffering from this virus that have had people that they love suffer from this virus because it's nothing to take lightly um so i actually do not have asthma for what i know but from february I kept having breathing problems and it would happen mainly in the afternoon to the evening where it would be very difficult to breathe, inhale and exhale without feeling like there's tightness. So I went to the doctor on March something, the doctor rather prescribes me albuterol sulfates like, okay, you have asthma. And I'm like, I understand that you can have asthma later on in life, but I truly don't think that's what it is because I saw the symptoms of asthma and compared myself, you know. I went ahead and took the inhaler as needed. So this past week, this actually marks a week and one, two, three, four. By the time you see this, it's gonna make like two weeks. Um, so this past week, I actually got tested for coronavirus because I had a few symptoms and I wasn't sure what was going on because it was difficult to breathe. My head was hurting tremendously. I didn't have a fever, but I would have aches all over my body. It got to the point where I would sit normally and there would just be stings going on around my body. Um, it would be hard to drink. My head felt like the frontal lobe was just thumping. I didn't know what it was. Didn't know if it was a sinus headache or whatever. So I started taking all the mucinex in the house, honestly, maybe three days straight. Took mucinex, took Tylenol. I didn't know what it was and I was super paranoid too because I think that's where anxiety happens because all this is going on, all this stress of the world and you're just like, what do I do? Like, I don't want to be a victim, but God, see me through. I remember the miracle that happened late last year in December and I thought, God, please, I know you gave me a voice to speak. I don't know where this voice or where this voice is going to take me, God, but please let me be able to breathe properly. And God, my headache, I'm tired of taking medicine all the time, even though they're over the counter, but still, um, I'm tired of doing this. God, just intervene. And literally, I felt as if 
everything that was clogged up here and on my headache was just being eradicated gradually and on Thursday after so a week after the, this st all started everything was fine like as I talk to you now I don't need an inhaler I don't need to take medicine I don't need to take Tylenol and I know this could be super small to somebody but it's big to me because it just shows that God really does care for the little things I don't know what you might be going through I don't know if anyone's sick in your family I don't know if you're sick yourself and I know as much as this seems very little it honestly shows you that truly by his stripes you are healed. It truly shows you that there is faith. And I'm not saying to neglect the medications that you should have, and I'm not saying to neglect any home remedies that you might be going through, but it's to truly tap into the faith of God and truly tap into God, what do I do? I don't know what to do. The doctors have told me this, the doctors have told me that, my family has told me this. God, this is hurting. Please give me peace. And truly just tap in to see how God will reveal himself to you, okay? So this is a little inspiration. Super, super small, but it means a lot. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!